Hey everybody, John Evgen here. Greetings from Sheboygan Falls, Wisconsin. Today is... What's the date today, Kenny? Today is... Uh, today's Wednesday. Wednesday... I, August I what? I think the, the 18th. The 18th, 2016. Alright. Yup. So we had uh, Kenny with us today from uh, Boston or Massachusetts? It's Massachusetts. Massachusetts, that's right. And uh, Kenny has something important to tell everyone and uh, kind of spread the word and maybe one of you could help and uh, you know put a light on the subject. So Kenny, go ahead and uh, go ahead and tell your story. Yeah, I just finished CDL school and now everybody is now waiting like six to eight weeks for testing. And the problem is it's all worldwide. I mean, a lot of us all have pre hires to go work for companies and none of us can because we're moving our states to do our licensing. And I think that's a problem. Yeah. And it's not getting any better because, I mean, states are not spending money to, we, to train more officers to take care of this problem. Wow. What makes you say it's worldwide? Because I've talked to my father in Florida, and Florida's having the same problem as everybody else. Oh, okay. Because ever since they changed all the tests, so now all the troopers have all fallen behind, so all of us are suffering. Now, first, how did you know about this? I mean, you graduated, and then uh, you went to the DMV but trying I to... You went to the DMV I, and tried to get a, a, a road test done? No, when I went to school, when I graduated, they were supposed to set a road test, but for some reason it's all backlogged because there's not enough troopers to go around for all these states, and I think that's a problem. Why should I spend almost seven grand for school, and then i got to wait another eight to ten weeks for, to get tested? That's, that's ridiculous. That's just not fair to all of us that want to go back to work and make a living. Yeah, uh, while your student loans and all that grows Yeah, up, all my loans are coming up and I, I'm not working. That's not fair to us. Yeah. I mean, that's just a problem. I mean, all these states are having this problem. You start testing people more. I understand there's 8,000 tests that have to be done a year, but I mean, with 13 cops, there should be more than this going on. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, you, I want to go out. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Now you have, now you have applied and and to many companies. And now I'm wait. I applied and then waiting for it all. And now I still I'm. This is my almost my fourth week waiting for a test day, and it's becoming a problem because I'm getting calls from companies that want to hire me and I can't work with them because I don't have my license yet. And one of the companies that you applied for was. Uh, Stevens Transport, right? Yeah, I applied for Stevens Transport. I've applied for a lot of companies, and none of them can get me because I don't have my CDL. This is why everybody's getting angry. Jeez. And the sad part of it is, I want to go and work. I want to draw. I spent a lot of money to learn how to do this. Now I have to wait. That's not fair to all of us. No, it isn't. So, you know, we want to go out and make a living because a lot of companies are hurting for drivers. No, you mentioned state trooper. Um, I thought you go to the DMV and, and have them set up. No, the state troopers come to some of these schools and they have certain dates that they can do it. But the problem you're having here is there's not enough state troopers to do it. And it's just not getting better, it's just getting worse. So couldn't you just set up an appointment at the uh, DMV or it doesn't work like that? It doesn't work like that because the school has to do it and the school is is just as aggravated as we are. I see. Now I told you... And the sad, go ahead. And the sad part of it is it just doesn't get any better because the states don't want to spend the money to train more officers because it's all union laws and that's not our problem. We. We spend a lot of money to get our education. We go get the, the education for all this, and now we're all suffering because they're all backlogged. Yeah. Wonder why that's, that's, it, 
wonder why that's causing that. It's not enough budget in the government or what? I guess it's that's not fair to us. We're the ones that get stuck with these loans, and when, when it's time to pay them up, we're not working it, so we're the ones that are getting in debt. Yeah. And the sad part is this doesn't get any better. The states need to do something. Yeah, yeah. Boy, that, that Cause I, government always takes a long time to move, so. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of funny when they want raises, they all get raises. Yeah, yeah. Now, I and, told you, um, I told I you mean, in my uh, situation when I graduated from truck driving school, I didn't, yeah. I didn't go to the DMV or I, I was tested by an independent uh, individual that, yeah. um, you know, he had his own truck and trailer. All I did was pay him $150 to, yeah. take, to take me to a road test, and yeah. he passed me, and that was it. He, he uh, gave yeah. me a waiver to go to the DMV, and... Yeah. You know, that was it. That's but it. nowadays you can't do that anymore. They want a cop to be there with you. I see. It's it's all it's all different now than it used to be. Yeah, with all the shenanigans yeah. going on with Chicago and Michigan and many places. Yeah, so yeah. people. Yeah, everybody's suffering because nobody can get. Politicians can't get this. The politicians need to get this home fixed too. Yeah. Now, one one you of know, the topic that you mentioned was um, uh, the industry is really short on drivers, and there, yeah, there's not enough drivers to go around. Everybody's retiring or giving up their CDLs because of their health. Yeah, not enough. Young kids want to go drive a truck, right? No, it's all older people. Because when I was in school, and it's all in the thirty-year-old bracket. What was the youngest student in your class? Nineteen years old. And how many of them were in that age bracket? One. Just one. Yeah. And you said the, and that's the the average was about thirty. Yup. All the older folks are starting to drive more, you know, and that's what gets me. I mean, people like me that want this have to sit there and play Mickey Mouse at the state because they split or fart around, so it takes forever to to test us. Yeah. And the sad part of this is the people that have already been tested that are flunking. They get bumped up before the people that haven't been tested. That's the other problem we're having. What does that mean? Explain that, please. When they flunk, they get put on the list right away so they can get retested like two to three weeks later. Oh. So say, say they pass half of it and then the other half they flunk, the person that's been waiting like four or five weeks has to suffer because that person's being bumped up first so they can get rid of that person before the new test is done. Yeah, yeah. wow. I'm, and the sad part of it is, I mean, all the, I mean, all the good jobs are driving the tractor truck all over the road, and that's what I would love to do. Are you beginning to like regret uh, going to truck driving school? And did you? Did no, you I'm learn, not. Did you learn about this before you went to truck driving school? Yes, I did. My father used to be a truck driver. So, you knew about this problem before you... No, this was... No, this was before... My dad was a truck driver for a long time. He was driving... He's been driving for... He drove for 50 years. Then he gave it up. And then he was explaining to me that the licensing... The, the way DOT is, they take forever to do it because... Up here, because they, they know that everybody wants their license. And, and, and the sad part of it is, and that's something. Say that, that again. The, and that's something that the school doesn't really divulge out there, right? They don't warn you about that because they need no. the students. They don't say that to students. They put a note up and say it takes four to six weeks. But what ends up happening is it's becoming 
after six weeks, you sit there and wait and wait and wait more, and that's not fair to all of us. Yeah. Oh, boy. You know, and the sad part of it is, it seems like everybody that goes into the license, the state that I live in, has to go to other states to get it so they can get their license on. That's the problem here, because every other state is quicker than this one. And then the sad part of it is they don't honor your license up here at all. If it's from another state. Really? Nope. Yeah. Massachusetts is it's a like little a, bit weird, ain't they? Yeah, that's the problem with this. I mean, if I went to get my license in Florida and I came back up here to work, they don't honor my license because it's a Florida right, CDL. And each state tests differently, and I think that's a problem. Yeah, which is... I think that... Yeah, I think all CDLs should be valid everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Well... Because they don't give them out, you have to earn them. Any advice to young students out there to, you might want to make aware of? Just keep plugging away, because that's what I was taught. Just be patient, but this is frustrating for everybody. I know a lot of companies that want covers, but the state, uh, the DOT cops take forever to make sure you get your licensing done, so it's becoming a problem worldwide, so I'm not the only one that goes through this. I mean, I think that the people that want to work are suffering because of this. Now, which of the company are you leaning uh, to work towards for? I would love to work for Stevens or Wells. Okay. Now, Either one. Now, where is the nearest terminal for Stevens uh, Transport in your area? It's in Massachusetts. Uh, if I were to get hired to Stevens, I have to go to Texas to get trained down there. But where is their terminal in Massachusetts? I don't. I think there's one somewhere. I don't know, but they do a lot of hauling up here. Yeah. But their main office is in Texas, so that's where you get trained at. Yeah, they're out of Dallas. Yes, they are. Yep. And and I know that I've heard good things about that company, too. I mean, the drivers are very pleasant, very happy to be there. You know, I've gone to, I've worked for a lot of places, and I've been around trucks all my life, but I mean, when I was told that a lot of places are looking for help. I went to school and got my license to get my permit, and it was great. I spent time driving, but I'm not getting the, the feedback from the state because they take forever to get all these done. Yeah. And I mean, don't get me wrong, I love to, I, I can't wait to do it. I, I'm, I'm dying to do this. You know, with the state, there's little parts around and everybody has to go to other states to get their CDL. That's not fair to all of us. How old are you, Kenny? I am, I turned 45 this year. Okay. So I'm just about uh, a little older than you. I'm only 47, yeah. so yeah. Yeah, I want to go and see the country. Yeah. And the sad part of it is you got the states that take forever for this. This isn't fair to all of us. You know, let one of the politicians go through this and think it's easy, and it's not. The politicians think, oh, well, they can do it, thing being done, and then have to wait. It's not that simple. We're all, the only problem we're having is we're all waiting to get it tested because there's a lot of jobs that, there's jobs out there that we all want, but the state takes forever to give it to it, to take, give us our licensing tests. Yeah, yeah. And that's the sad part of all this. Well, Kenny, best of luck to you. Uh, as I mentioned earlier in our conversation, I am I'm a dinosaur to the information highway as far as the uh, testing goes because I, I, you know, the last time I was in truck driving school was back in 1991, so I'm sure those are all obsolete and, you know, yeah. yeah. The day, the, the olden days are gone. It's the new days now. Yeah, yeah. All right. No, but I mean, I want, I just want to tell everybody that if you're going to school, keep plugging away at it because it's, the payoff is the greatest payoff in the world. At the end, is getting your CDL so you can make a living. 
Yeah. Well, Kenny, thank you for uh, making us all aware of this. And as far as the newcomers come, you know, the new truck drivers want to be, and uh, at least they are aware of it now. So I can't wait till I start. So well, keep us posted. Thank you. All right, bye, Kenny. Bye. Well, everybody, that was Kenny from uh, Massachusetts, and you heard it all here at the JBG Travel Radio Show. Okay, we are on our way to Appleton, Wisconsin. Need to be there by three. Holy smokes. All right, we'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace.